go, it's back in the long drive. Okay, so today, I've already reset my odometer. Check it out. I actually found out I can do it from here, which is not even on the button. So I don't know, or the dial. I don't know what's going on. So today, um... I can't believe it's been 430 kilometers since I found the Trabot. Today, we're going to do our norm 50 kilometers or more down the road in the long drive. As, like, it's a thing. You know what? I'm so tired right now. Like, I am dying tired. I, <laughs> I've been cleaning, and now I've been sweaty. You know, you get sweaty doing things. I've been sweaty, and now I smell like the inside of a hockey bag. And anybody who's ever played hockey knows full well what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's not... It's not been good. It's not been... I'm going to close this. Sorry, I'm so tired. There we go. There, we got 50 liters of gas. How's our oil doing? We got 4.8 liters of 5 of oil, so that's pretty good. So, hmm. Yes, 50 kilometers or more. I was looking for rabbits. 50 kilometers or more down the road. We got one coily. Wait a minute. We got, we got two coilies and a loggington. What the... We got a Karen. Okay, what is going on here? Okay, okay. Let me, let me have two Karens. Do we still have our sponge? We still have our sponge. Okay, well, 50 kilometers or more down the road. Car start. Today, we're not going to spend a ton of time. I'm going to adjust these mirrors. Um, stopping at places because I got to get back to cleaning. I'm trying to clean up my uh, place where I record to make it a little more efficient. And ooh, look at this sexy monster. And I've got it pretty good, but I really want to find the other gauges. I would like to keep the giant gauge. I know it doesn't quite fit. But I'd like to keep the giant gauge and get the two flanking gauges for this. So if we can find that, I will be a happy man. Sorry, I was scratching my nose. So let's go. 50 kilometers or more. Long drive. Let's do this. Woo! Okay, that wasn't very good. Well, I'm, I'm all, everything's dusty, and I have I have no voice left. All right, so here we go. I don't, everybody in the comments hates this engine. I don't understand. I think it sounds great. It's, it sounds like it's the best sounding engine. I don't care what anybody says. It's got that hollow, like... I put a four-inch exhaust on my four-cylinder Honda Civic <laughs> without sounding like someone's farting. Rabbit, die. No, I missed you. Whoa, okay, careful there, bud. You don't, you don't want to go off the road. What's this? I see something out there. Okay, careful. My eye on the prize, scapegoat. We need to find gauges. Gauges, boy. That's what we need. Hello, boat. What's going on, buddy? We're going down the road. 50 kilometers or more, we'll probably hit a rock and die. Yeah. I should do, like, I, I'm telling you, when I finally get to the end of this, I know I've been, I have not been playing it every other day for those people who enjoyed that schedule, but I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, you know, just for fun. Um, play some other things. People seem to be responding to the 60 seconds game, so that's cool. <laughs> like that's, I like that game. I got some other things in the works, too, so be ready for it. Um... Do I have any announcements to make? I like to make it. Oh, there's a rock. I like to make announcements while I'm driving. Um, oh, yes. Okay. So if you're on the Discord, or if you're not and you want to be involved in this, we are going to have a Minecraft building contest. And if I remember correctly, and uh, me and 90 books will be judging, but if I remember correctly, uh, how do I put this? It is a. <laughs> I think, unless the theme has changed. Which I have not approved to change, so but they like to change things on me, which is cool. It's going to be a My Summer Car themed build. If you want details, head over to the Discord and they can tell you all about it. Uh, it'll be on the Java version of Minecraft, um, most I'm pretty sure, because it's easier to mod for servers and stuff. So, yes, head on over if you want to check that out. Ask the uh, ask the moderators over there; they'll tell they'll fill you in on what's going on. I'm sure there's an official announcement in the announcement sections. Crunchword, he's the admin. If you hear this. Put an announcement in the in the section every day for the next couple of weeks. It'll be taking place on Saturday the 27th of judging. So you want to get involved, get involved now. Well, so supplies are limited. <laughs> supplies are limited. You know, after this, I'm going to go get a soda. I've earned a cold soda pop, and I want... Well, look how flat this ground is. This is great. I've earned a cold soda pop, and I want to go get a cold soda pop. What's your favorite cold soda pop? My favorite cold soda pop is Diet Coke. I like that Diet Coke. I used to drink the regular soda, and then I started finding it too sweet. So now I drink that diet soda. Now all the people in the comments are like, you're gonna get cancer from aspartame. I used to work in food, like food sciences, a little bit, and the testing thing. And the one thing they told, they said the test where they gave cancer to uh, rats or mice, was it? Rats or mice, I can't remember which. But the one they gave cancer to them, 
they gave them 50 times the dose per day for like ever. <laughs> That's how they got it. So coincidentally, if you do the same thing with regular sugar, you can get cancer as well. So that's everything will give you cancer in excess. That's the rules. So you got to balance the problems, you know. You know, this would be a perfect spot to have a little boop, 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 boop. Hey, let's let's do a uh, what do you call that? SOS. Okay. Ignition off. Let's have a little sleep. Oh, okay. can't sleep outside, which I don't understand, but sure, we'll do it inside. <laughs> is that a dog or a rat? What do you mean? Is it a dog? There's no dogs in this game. Rabbit? Was I saw you creeping, boy. Where are you? Oh, oh I see. You're watching me. You know what? You know what? No. You don't have the red eyes, though. Will this horn scare him off? No? <laughs> okay, we'll pop out for a second here. Thought I saw some fuel. Not that we need it so much, but it never have, it hurts to have a full tank of gas. So, there, we only use 300 mils. How far have we gone with only using three, 300? Uh, 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 this is going to be a rapid attack. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, okay. We only use 300 mils of gas and we went six kilometers. That's not bad. <laughs> like, that's, that's not bad at all. So a liter every 18 to 20 kilometers? That's not bad. Oh, splat. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Coily, y'all still here? Yeah, y'all still here. Good times. Good, good times? Good times. <laughs> good times, everybody. Good times. Oh, yes. I gotta have a... Gotta have a nice cruise today. I like this game for when I just need something easy to play and to put something out for you guys to watch and hear me ramble. This is my... I should just turn this into the vlog. I should call it the long vlog and just just vlog while I uh, while I play this game. This should be the one. That's what I should do in the future. If I'm ever going to do a, like a, uh, a vlog day or an update day, it should just be this. Sorry, I mentioned my ear. My headphones fell off. There we go. Okay, excellent. Somebody remind me to... Uh, to brag about my new headphones. No, I'm kidding. I don't have any new headphones. <laughs> I bought these. I bought these a year. What are they? What are these again? Audio Technica headphones. Man, I'll tell you. I've I've always owned some pretty good headphones. I'm a bit of an audiophile, but mostly when it comes to stereo equipment. And I don't give a crap about surround sound and stuff. Like I like having my my home theater thing, you know, set up. But I don't need all the surround and everything. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I just never felt the need. So I just have you know the stereo speakers hooked up, and I have. Uh, a very old amplifier from the 70s. I have a very, very, very old amplifier from the 70s. But I listen to vinyl a lot. And I keep my records in, in really, really good shape. I, I try to, anyway. And uh, so I bought a really good set of headphones uh, with the intention of using them on my computer, for sure, but to listen to that stuff. And I'll tell you, man, like, what a... What, like, like just sitting there and experiencing something like Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd on vinyl where there's no like space in between and not on YouTube where the sound quality isn't great. It's something, and you gotta get a really good record player and a really good needles and all this stuff. And it, it works best on old school solid state amps, but so it's a whole investment, <laughs> excuse me. It's a whole investment if you want to do it. And it's not probably worth the money for most people, but you sit down, no pops, no whistles, no nothing, no, uh, no dust on your record. And you sit there and you listen to the whole one side of that album. And it is just, it's a trip, man. Like, it's just a trip. And don't get me wrong. Like, I had the CD version of that growing up. And I've also heard, like, digital versions on Spotify and all that. And it's there, but there's something. And it's, okay, here's the thing, and I'll tell you, because people get this completely wrong. There isn't, like, vinyl isn't better in a sense of quality. In fact, it's worse. Like, because there's, you know, you have a moving object across another moving object that can collect dust and all this. What it does do, though is that one it's been mastered specifically for that format and not remastered 40 times over the years so that's pretty cool but because it's usually the original especially like modern stuff on record is usually mastered very poorly so but the old stuff's a lot better somewhere around the 80s they started doing something called the loudness wars and i, I encourage you if you're a music person sorry i'm losing my voice to go look that up where they started making music exceptionally loud, and if you look at the waveform of them, it's just like this blisteringly loud thing. 
because they wanted their music to pop, right? So as you get further and further along, and then you get to about the early, early 2000s, and if you look at the waveforms from stuff from that era, it's just noise. Like, it's not there. So there's subtleties to it. But what it does do is digital, if you know how digital music works, whoa, geez, it removes a lot of information you can't hear, right? So, um, oh, God, I'm not going to stop here. This is, this is too, the frame rate is shot. Um, digital music, like, in order to compress it down, let's use, like, a FLAC file or something. To, even that you loses some stuff. To compress it down, whoa. Okay, rabbits from heaven? <laughs> I heard a story about this in the Bible. No. So, in order to compress it down, they remove stuff your ears can't hear, obviously, because what's the point? But recently, in the last decade or so, people have been studying this effect that in that stuff that you can't hear, your body can feel it. So, like, you know, it vibrates your, your, your skull or your bones or whatever, right? That you normally can't hear it but it'll it'll have an effect and that has an effect on your listening experience so there is a difference it's not better it's just a little bit different and when you're super sensitive to sound like i am like i can i'm very sensitive to music like sounds and music like being able to pick out instruments in a song or whatever um this is so slow right now it's it makes a huge difference it really does and so, yeah, like I said, people say the sound quality is better and whatnot. That's not true. People say, well, the sound is warmer back then. Well, part of that is because the type of amplifiers like are were so good back then. Because there's like this thing about removing distortion and noise that these companies were going through. Kind of like horsepower wars and cars. Getting less distortion and noise in your in your signal chain was like what they were doing back then. So, and if you go, and this is no knock on modern equipment because I've owned plenty of it. If you go look up the quality of say like an old um sx series pioneer i think it's like the 1800 what is it now the 12 1250 maybe 12 1280 8 1280 i can't remember the model number but it's an extremely high end like pioneer one for example or um an old marantz amp their sound quality is as good or better than some of the most high-end modern stuff and these were consumer level things back then in order to match the stuff you got to spend God, like six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars on modern equipment to get the same quality that you could get back then. But you got to deal with other stuff, like my amp, for example. I have a very old, very good Onkyo amp. Um, it has no remote, like so you can't you can't like sit down and set it. So I have it running through a chain that allows me to use my phone as a remote. Um, and it's a weird little setup. I can explain it, but I won't get into it. Unless, unless you want to hear about it, then talk to me. But ask me below, and I'll answer the questions below. I'm getting a thing for... Um, you can buy a little Bluetooth transmitter that plug into our old RCA plugs. And so you can, like, send music to them from your phone and whatnot. Because they do listen to, like, Spotify and stuff on YouTube and stuff. You know, but I just want to hear a song real quick. But sometimes it's... It, it, and again, you're not going to put vinyl on where you're like, Oh, I just want to hear, like money by by pink floyd i just want to put this on unless you're not going to do that probably but some nights i'll sit down i'll grab a beer you know maybe several or a, or, a, or a good whiskey i really like good whiskey i'll sit down put the record on and just sit there and have a drink and listen to that for an hour or so and don't do anything don't talk to anybody don't say anything don't answer my phone put my phone down and it's just a nice listening experience i'm hoping to in the near future actually to actually have a room where i can just sit and listen to stuff because Music, music is super important to me. I don't know about you guys. Music is super important to me. Now, most modern music I find kind of, like, overly produced. And, you know, nobody's playing instruments. And the songs are written by 12 people. And I just, I, I don't find a lot of that good. But it doesn't mean there isn't good modern music. Like, Lord Huron, for example, if you're into a bit of, like, rock music, they're, they're pretty good. And uh, I mentioned Tired Pony before, and they're really good. Or the band I've, I played on my one uh, rally video, The Ancient Engines. I, they're really like Canadian band. Really good stuff. I recommend the song Gordy Brook. Tell them I sent you. Uh, it's on YouTube, but you know, like, like I love old rap, like give me old Dr. Dre, old Snoop, things like that. Old ice cube. Like I'm all over that. Like in a second, I'm not some weird person. that doesn't appreciate rap music or hip hop, man. I got a huge extensive collection of older stuff. I just find the modern stuff kind of, eh, it started with the early Eminem stuff. You know, it was kind of like, it was all right. And he wasn't terrible by any stretch of imagination. Like, he's really, his craft is really well honed. But just wasn't my thing. It was too, 
But then you listen to really modern stuff and you realize, and then I realize, like, oh, God, we had it good with Eminem. <laughs> we had really good with Eminem. Like, 6 9 man, are you kidding me? Oh, God, this guy's like, if, if you were to, like, light a dumpster on fire and then, like, and then whispered a curse into it and then hell spat it back out. That That's that's that music. <laughs> it's it's awful. You can barely understand the guy. Oh, sorry. I had to cough there. My apologies. All the dust I stirred up cleaning up this room is just making my nose run. <laughs> See, it's got it's, it's happening. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop it. The medical conditions are ridiculous. Okay. And I'm so sensitive to dust. I'll tell you. It's like springtime in Canada, man. The pollen hits at a certain time in spring. And then I'm so stuffed up, I'm talking like this for like hours on end. And it's awful. And then I'm hacking a <laughs> kind of thing. And it's just like right now, just pretending to cough makes me want to cough. It's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. You can hear it in my throat. My whole throat gets gurgly. <laughs> it's not good, I can tell you that. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got a big old gas station. Maybe I can find my Dasha gauge as I walk to bed. What are you? Oh, no Dashas, man. They're just, they're just not here anymore. All right, well, I got all my lights I need. Okay, let's see. Maybe there's some fuel here we can scoop up. I saw fuel over there, I think. We should... Pr oh, God, it's... Sa uh, auto save. Uh, Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Unless one of those things has round gauges, but I believe they have full pods in those. What are you? Your oil. I'll put you in just because we're here. All right. Whoop. Okay. There we go. Put this oil in here. There we are. Oil. And we're getting closer and closer to the end of this, and I'm super excited about it. All right. We're about halfway home, and that's great. Oh, we got another Trabant here. <laughs> okay, well that's another. You know what? Until we find. Okay, I just got to open you up some more. Give me this. Until we find. Oh, there it is. It's just kind of sideways, man. Until we find the other gauges. I remember you used to be able to find gauges just laying around. Not so much now. There, we'll do multiple gauges. <laughs> multiple <laughs> speedometers. Got some diesel here. I have a bus. Huh. I don't like the looks of this. Although there's a lovely green in here. What is this? Gotta avoid these, uh... What is this green? I've never... I don't think I've ever seen this green. Huh. Well, let's see here. Should we paint... What should we paint? The body or the hood? Okay, let's paint the body. A little, oh yeah, look at this. Look at that. I like that, okay. <laughs> um, This door is definitely, you know, I like this. I like this multicolored clown mobile. All right, let's get moving. What are we, about 25K in? Let me see. Well, 22.9 on that one, zero on this one. All right, we should find another one. We have three, three odometers going at any given time. If we have an accident, <laughs> if we lose one, we'll still have, look at, double gauges. Nice. Okay, this is working lovely. All right. See, this is what this game is about. Putting your crap together in the way you do want it to. Now, I'm a big fan of, you know, setting things up to look as normal as possible, but... Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, perfect. All right, back on the road. We're halfway done today, almost. It's going quite well, actually. You know, I haven't had many accidents lately. I think I've just gotten to the point where accidents happen for sure, because sometimes they go way too fast. I think I've just gotten to the point where I'm a little more in control of the car than uh, than I used to be, uh, even at high speeds. And I can feel the car doing stupid crap. I think that's why I've been changing cars more often on this run down. Because I want the, the drama of it. <laughs> Normally I'm a no drama mama, but today, today, this is, this is where the action is, is when the accidents happen. The aliens aren't scary anymore because they haven't probed me once, no matter how many times I've asked. And there's just, there's just nothing going on. I feel like Jacob Bomberito has very few comments to make these days. Come on, Jacob, make a comment about my play style now, bro. Bring it on, fool. Bree's my nemesis, that guy. My nemesis. My nemesis -sis -sis. Oh, it's going to be a good time. Yes. Okay, here we go. I got 
I love that color, actually. I mean, I wish I had more of that. If you really want to paint this thing like a single color, you need a lot of color to cover the old colors. So you would need two or three paint cans of the same color to cover it up. But currently the car, other than that one green door, has some very beautiful. This thing, this side's so boring. Like it looks very, the two colors of green look very similar. But this, this is fun. I like this. Well, look out. Okay, back on the road. Oh, great. More hills. How fast are we going? 80 or 80? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's about right. All right, keep going. I know around here somewhere, I know I lost a broom. What's this? There's a rabbit in the road anyway. It's gonna go. Look at him. He's saving his friend, Splat. <laughs> okay, don't, don't wreck my car, fool. Don't wreck my car, fool. Okay, fool. Okay, okay. No, no. You, you knocked Coily out. Okay, we're gonna have to stop and pick that up. Look at you did. Look at you did. Come here, you. <laughs> get in here. Coily and his buddy, apparently. Coily, when did you get a friend? All right. Moving on. Perfect. Okay, come on, baby. Come on. There you go. There you go. Climbing a hill, look at you go. All right, just, uh, all right, just get up this hill. Yeah, this is going to take a while if we got to climb hills like this, especially with this engine. This engine's not the most powerful thing in the world. Uh, we're still doing 40-ish. It's, you know, it's not a whole lot worse than the big Lada engine, to be quite honest. Like, the big Lada engine's got a bit more torque, but it's so low speed, it's hard to stay in the power band before the dude shifts, and then it just slows it down. So... It isn't a whole lot slower. Like, up here, we'd be doing, like, 50 or 60. And we're doing, like, you know, just under 50. So, it's not that much slower. It is slower, though. I'm going to admit that. What is up here? Come on, baby. Yeah, I'm chewing on a beard hair. Get out of here. What are you doing, fool? I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Oh, our lights are not on. We should turn those on. Uh, there we go. Bright lights. Bright lights of the city. Uh. Yeah, this is good. See, the, you know, I enjoyed the trip down. And even though we've had more technical problems on the way home, such as freezing and crashing and stuff, I think I'm preferring the drive home. Now that I got a good idea what I'm doing, it's like doing it all over again for the first time. But now you got the experience. You know, it's, uh, of course, this hill is awful, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> There you go. Look at you just cruising along here. We got 27 kilometers in. We're not doing shabby here, but we got to go faster than this if we expect to get anywhere at any sort of decent amount of time. And I feel like this is just a big hill for the next little while. So this this is this could be this could be the thing that drives us over the edge. This could be it. We're gonna get driven over the edge right now. <laughs> Come on, baby, climb this hill. Right over this cactus. Teach it, teach it a lesson. Die. Okay, there we go. Now it looks like it's gonna get a little shallower coming up here. Not so much of a, not so much of a, a dip here. Just come on, baby. This is not, this is not fun. This is not fun. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, baby. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh, so I got some of those like foam things you always see the YouTubers have on the wall. Books got them for me. 90 bucks. I think I'm going to, now that I moved this room around, I think I'm going to put them on my wall finally. I've had them for a while now and I think I'm going to put them on my wall. Right, right behind my new, where I moved my, 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 well, this is a table, but I moved my table too. I was going to say desk. But yeah, I think I'm going to put them there. Does anybody else use those? Like in the rooms, like I know people who I, I know a couple of guys who don't do YouTube or stream, and they have them because they just think it looks cool. They also have like a mic arm and everything, and they don't use uh, they don't record anything. So I always question when you have a five hundred dollar microphone just so you can talk to your buddies in like uh, war zone, you know? Like <laughs> that. Oh, okay, okay. Spaceship, get up! I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Three, two. One, go. Nice. All right. Perfect. What's this? 
Hold up, hold up. There was something on the road back there. What is that? Hold up. Is that a sponge? I see. All right, let's turn the ignition off for a second. Leave the lights on. It is a sponge. Look at this. Okay, don't auto save right now. Ooh. Oh my God, what do you? Okay, open, dismount. Oh my God, where did it go now? Come here, just get in there, fool, jeez. All right, we got, we got a, an old sponge that we once owned apparently. I'm assuming it fell out of our car while we were driving. Sorry about my gurgliness today. I apologize. These allergies act up and it's just the way it is. I can't do much about it. Ugh. This is going so well. This is going so well. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, we should be done not too much longer here. Let me see. Uh, you know, not, not much, but 20K. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Whoa. Jeez, a rock creeping up on me. All right, so... What do we got here? What do we got here? Okay, okay. I thought I saw something. That, that spaceship doesn't normally sneak up on me that fast. I, I usually have a good idea it's coming. That time it kind of caught me off guard. And there's a lot of aliens here. Like, what is that all about? Someday they're going to have to flesh out that part of the story just so I know. Now, sometimes there's dashes here. And realistically, we're probably going to find another Trabant gauge. <laughs> like, let's be real here. I don't have any luck with these things. Nope, two station wagons and a whole lot of nothing. And those two cars are humping, so I want out of here now. Because you know what's going to happen is one of them is going to explode. Okay, we need to get up here. Okay, come on. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Look at this thing. It's like a mountain goat. A mount scapegoat. No, don't mount scapegoat. That's wrong. If you see me in public, don't mount me. Don't do it. Not that anybody knows what I look like. You know, I get that's probably one of the most common questions I get asked. When are you going to show your face? Dude, never. I look like the north end of a southbound moose. Nobody wants to see this face. Nobody. I got this giant beard. I look like a lumberjack. It's just a whole thing. You don't want to. Like, I'm too good looking for you guys to look at. It's like. You know, you look at Medusa, you turn to stone. You look at my beauty, it's just over for you. You have a heart attack. It's just what it is. I'm just that good looking. <laughs> no, I'm not that good looking. Wow, no. No, I'm not good looking. But, well, you know, I'm not ugly. I don't think I, don't think I am. I don't know. It's hard to tell, you know. Aesthetics are measured by different uh, measures depending who you are, right? So, it's hard to tell. I got really interesting colored eyes, though. I have really strangely colored eyes. They're like a, like a... Like, they're green, but not green. It's really a weird thing. They got, like, gold flecks. It's really a weird colored eye thing. It's very strange. My eye doctor, with my glasses, is always very enamored by them. He once took pictures. Here's a good story for you. He once took pictures of my eyeballs to put them in a catalog to show off glasses at close range. So they didn't have to see the rest of my face because nobody wants to see that. But, yeah, so <laughs> he said, I want to use this in my, my catalog thingy I hand out. Uh, do you mind? I was like, no, no, go ahead. So they put they made me wear about 12 different pairs of glasses, different frame styles, and they took really up close pictures of the glasses with just my eyes. Yeah, it was interesting. I enjoyed it. It was fun. And my eye appointment was free. So, you know, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> you get to take a few pictures, get a free eye exam. That's a good time. It works out. That's the one thing that people don't understand about Canada and its uh, our, our health care. We still got to pay for glasses and stuff, unless you're over a certain age, and then it's then it's free, or not free, but it's uh, covered by our healthcare stuff. So I think once you're like 65, they cover most of it or some of it or something like that. Same with drugs up here. Drugs aren't free, so if you need like a prescription, you know, that's not free. You got to pay for that, but they're a lot cheaper. That's the that's the deal, right? Like, I've heard stories in uh, the U.S., for example, about how like insulin can cost thousands of dollars a month. I saw some governor or somebody signed a bill to make it a cost a hundred dollars a month. I got a buddy of mine who pays for his own insulin here because uh, he has no uh, work plan. 
and it costs him like $26 for a month. So like that's, you know, it's interesting how countries do stuff differently. I'm not knocking the American system. I'm just saying I don't want it. <laughs> I've had some pretty hefty expenses medically in my time. And I would not, a couple of surgeries and stuff, I would not want to have to pay for that, man. It would have cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Not worth it. I'm not worth no hundred thousand dollars to save. That's just the facts. It's just the facts. <laughs> just, I, I don't, it's just not worth it, guys. <laughs> you see me dying in a ditch, leave me. It ain't worth saving. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Oh, look at this fancy rock. Hello, fancy rock. What's up, buddy? It looks kind of like a lizard or something. Okay, we're finally at the top of this hill here. It usually means, yep, it's got to go up just a wee bit more before it can flatten out again. And there we go. There's up a little wee more here. Okay, oh, we got some more hill coming up. See, once you start going up, the terrain generation just keeps driving you upwards. Like, it just keeps, you just keeps, go like, for the longest time before it finally lets you come back down. Like, once you start going up, you'll go 40 or 50 kilometers, kind of always increasing the air altitude. And then eventually you can see here it tails off a bit and it kind of starts heading back down again, or at least flattening out. So yeah, it's a whole thing. If you're going to play this game, be ready for it. Let's turn these lights off. We don't need those no more. There we go. Look at the paint just gleaming in the early morning light. It's good times, man. Man, you would, I would not want to have an accident here. I, on the way down, I always figured at some point, because the amount of rocks I hit, I'd get in an accident, like in a place like this, and fly off the cliff and tumble down all the way to the bottom, losing all the parts on my car. But in the, in the first season, there's only one time around the seventh, I think it's episode, something like episode 29, 30, or 31, where I, I have to push my car because I flipped over and the cactus stole my oil. Uh, and all the oil was out of my engine and I couldn't, I couldn't go anymore. And so I had to push my car to a ship that I saw about, you know, six, eight kilometers away. <laughs> and I had to walk there. I did a whole montage of it. I didn't want to delete it, but I didn't want to show the whole like 40 minute walking. So I uh, sped up, sped up the video by 10 times. So it was like three or four minutes instead of like 40. It was hilarious. I was pushing this car. Good song too. It's called ambient something. Ambient gold maybe? Yeah, it was a good song. It worked really well for that uh, scene. Oh God, it's by a guy named Harris Heller. He's got his own... Uh, what do you call it? YouTube streaming thing that he teaches people how to stream and do YouTube and whatever. He's really into microphones. He's a real good looking guy. You know, like better, way better looking than me, for example. <laughs> if you like that rugged look, I'm your guy. If you're not into that rugged look, I am not your guy. Like I'm a, I'm a car guy. I generally have like something going on, like grease or dirt on my hands. You know, I do this for fun. I also know a lot about computers and stuff, so I got the nerd side of me kind of figured out. Oh, this engine's screaming. Look at it. Come on, little car. Whoa. A little hop right there. Okay. Better get up this hill. That's not a hill. Never mind. We're just, now we're going back downhill. Okay. There's probably no need to go that fast, but sure. Let's let our idle out here. Sometimes just letting it just coast is the best way to do it, because it'll just keep gaining speed to a point. Uh, I have never found the top speed of a vehicle yet. Like, certain engines and stuff only rev so high, for sure. But, freaking rabbits on the road, eh? But, oh! Wh why are you screaming now? It's a little late for that, bud! <laughs> Jeez! Those rabbit screams are horrific, man. Jeez. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. There we go. There we are. And somebody taught me back in Season 1. To use the parking brake when you want to slow down when you're going way too fast, like it takes a lot longer to slow you down. But boy, you survive much easier because you can still steer. It's kind of like having ABS. Because when you're braking normally, you can't steer. Okay, here we go. This is this is going very well. Just a nice cruise through the desert. Well, the snowy desert. <laughs> oh, look out! I want something like, what's that game? Um, Snow Runner? I want that snow system in more games. I think that's going to be really amazing if they can add that to more games. That whole mud snow system, but I want specifically snow. But I also want the snow to fall and drift and stuff. Like, that's the one thing games don't have, is that drifting snow mechanic thing. And, I, and, I, and like, in real life, like, 
it's like the holy grail of it seems to be of of video games is flowing water you know but for me it's like i'd love to see like real snow like did you ever play um red dead redemption 2 when they walk through the snow or assassin's creed 3 and when they walk through the snow it kind of makes the trail through the snow you know what i mean but it's just because the snow is already there i want to see it fall and cover tracks and stack up for a while and you know that kind of stuff it's the it's my canadian coming out of me you know <laughs> Don't judge me, fool. I <laughs> just like the snow. It looks pretty as all get out. Rabbit, stay off the road, fool. I don't got time for your bullcrap. Okay, we got a, a big garage coming up here. We want to approach this semi-slowly. I'm hoping by going a little slower when I approach these things, it gives it a little more time for stuff to spawn in. And sometimes these things go nuts, and then the game freezes for 20 or 30 seconds, sometimes a minute, and then you're just... Got to get around this rock in case, because you can't slow down or anything when it's happening. There it is. It's starting to spawn in. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. I'm hoping that helps a little bit, because I'll be bombing along sometimes. And then I just about die because okay, this is too... Yeah, we can't stop here. This is too uh, excessively slow. The autosave can crash the game at this speed. Yeah, something's going on. I got to get out of here. I've learned this about the OGs and crackers. The frame rate. Three, two, one. Better frame rate. <laughs> oh, I got this game's number, baby. I got this game's number. Oh, where are we at? We had 47. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Means the next stop will be our stop. My dog just came down carrying a sock. Murphy, you got to go, baby. I'm busy. I'm super busy right now. I got this this whole thing I'm doing. She's looking at me. What? Get out of here, fool! Fool! Yep. I got a weird. I got two weird dogs. Uh, if you haven't heard these, again, oh, if people like dogs. I got two of them. I got uh, two chocolate labs. One of them's named Murphy, and the other is named Harper Lee. And uh, both of them are a pain in the butt. And the Harper's older. She's nine. Still in great shape. Does her thing. She's lost a whole bunch of weight recently, and she looks great. Murphy is a much younger and more spastic and all over the place and very excitable and very easily made excitable. And so, and she likes to carry everything. Harper likes to play with things and picks them up and plays with them. Murphy can't, if she sees you, she just has to give you something. It's just kind of like in her playbook that if I see you, I got to bring you a gift. Even if it's my sock or my boot or anything on the ground she can pick up, that's what happens. You know what I do need to do is I got to get one of those cans of compressed air and clean out the inside of my computer. I can just, I, since I moved it around, I can see a little better on the inside. She needs a good blowing out there. You can see it. That's all right, though. I got dust filters all over my computer. But, uh, you know, sometimes dust just still gets in. Just the way it is. And I have an excessively dusty house. Got a really old furnace. Yeah, I should really get that cleaned out in there at some point here. Yeah, I'm just looking at it now. It's all right, though. My computer isn't running hot or anything. It's just I can see the dust and it drives me insane. You guys ever have this problem? I do. <laughs> yeah, very dusty house. I got to get that. Oh, my God. How far are we now? 49. We just got to get to. Ugh. Where's this place we're going? I don't even know. Olive Garden. We got to get to the Olive Garden, baby. It's just one of those things. I'll be so happy if they add an Olive Garden, or at least a restaurant somewhere. Stop and get a little something, something to eat. That could be fun. Food's always good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm the dust I'm looking at it now, it's bothering me. <laughs> gotta get in there and get over there, it's compressed air. And I gotta do it like it sucks. I gotta do it like every, um, probably two weeks or three weeks in the winter when I got the forced air on, like for heat, man. What a pain in the ass. But that's fine. You know, if that's the price, you got to pay. That's the price you got to pay. It's just the way it is. And to be fair, like I said, doing it every two weeks isn't terrible. Could be worse. I used to have a uh, blower style card. Like a GPU years ago. 
And that thing would suck shit in. And I'll tell you, that that squirrel cage fan would get dusty in a week. And you'd be in there cleaning it out, getting all the dust out of it. It's a pain in the butt. A horrific pain in the butt. And by proxy, this doesn't look that bad. So <laughs> this looks like it's just a, oh, you haven't cleaned it in a week or two. All right. Fair enough. You guys ever get dust problems in your PCs? Let me tell you. It's a whole thing. It's a whole nasty thing. What do we got here? <gasps> Is that, no, that's not a building. That's just the road. Why am I going so slow right now? I'm doing 70, I guess. That's not terrible. That might be a building. Oh, that is a building. Nice. There we go. There's our stop for today. This is going well. I gotta edit out a cough, though, which sucks. Because <laughs> you guys won't hear it. I'll be like, oh, sorry, I coughed. That's why it was all quiet. But yeah, I hate doing this because I gotta remember where it was and I can't remember what timestamp it was at. Good times. This is what happens when you let me do things. Makes everything just problematic. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. How far are we on here? 51. I've noticed I'm about 200 kilometers behind where I was in the first season because I did a couple episodes where I went like 80 and 90 kilometers until I settled into the 50 kilometer routine. There we go. This will work. This little bunker will work. But it'll still get there. It'll probably be 95 episodes instead of 84, 85. All right. Pull it in here. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it on the road. And stop it here. So that, my friends is 52 why is it a 52 point i can't tell uh we'll say 52.3 now i'm gonna leave this episode here so thank you so much for watching if you like this please leave a comment maybe subscribe maybe get your friends to subscribe hit the little bell too it rings something. I don't know. I think it just tells Google, like, bing, bing, we got new... I don't know what it does. Either way, you know me. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Something's moving over here, and it's freaking me out. I've obviously been here, too, because the door's open. Out.